Are you actually going to go for the 505 deadlift? Hey guys, so we are back for another episode of the casting couch. <laughs> Hi guys, so yeah, we are here and today we are going to talk about what has just happened in Cardiff, the Giants Live Deadlift Championships. Not the show, we're just going to talk about the deadlift part. The world record was up for grabs, the 505 kilogram world record, and I think there was 12 athletes doing it. And one of them was just doing just a deadlift, the rest were doing the whole show. Mm. Who was doing just a deadlift? I think it was Ivan and Ivan, uh, yeah. just the bigger uh, South Africa. Yeah, guy, those, it? I think it was those two that were just doing the deadlift and the rest were doing the show, like I said. Mm -hmm. so. like that's the thing, isn't it, when you're doing like a world record event, but then there's a show as well, you've got to think of what you're wanting. So like, you're either wanting the world record deadlift or you're wanting to win the show, so I think there's a bit of kind of play in that. Um, but yeah. I think it's important you need to do one or the other, because you have to respect as well that the 505 kg deadlift isn't just a thing you can go and train for three months. I mean, Eddie Hall and Ford, the reason they did it is because they did it, they trained it for a year and didn't, you know, respect the weight because, like I said, you know, like I think a lot of people said they were going to do it, but also said they were going to do a competition as well. And it's mm. basically impossible to do a uh, world record. It would be the same with me with Atlas Stones. If I wanted to do a 300k Atlas Stone and said, right, I'm going to do a competition that's on the same day as well, there would be no way in hell. <laughs> that I would be able to do it so yeah I think it's really important to concentrate on you know either do the competition and a few of the athletes only wanted to pull a thousand pound and I think mm -hmm. that was smart a lot of them just said right I'll pull a thousand pound mm -hmm. then they're fresh for the comp and you know you could see that that helped them in a <coughs> longer run as well so oh big time I think that's the the decision you have to make but all the athletes all the guys geez oh they were incredible you know super strong there was a couple of last minute call-ins uh, big Andy Black big shout out to Andy uh, for stepping up taking the the kind of uh, the show um, Shane Flowers as well Pag got the last minute call up so um, great to see you know everyone just really stepping up and everyone lifting 400 kilos at least which I think is incredible and a big shout out to Raúno 464 kilogram master world Four six four eight or four seven. So four seven six, I think it was. Oh, sorry, four seven six, master world sorry. record. That was unbelievable. I just want to double check. Sorry, Rona. I've I've seen your lift so many times. Four seven six at yeah, forty sorry. years young. So fair you play to Rona and yeah. Rona Hingler showing that uh, the age just uh, he is like a fine wine. He gets better with age. Um, but no, it was incredible. Big Hicksy hitting a thousand pound. Mitchell Hooper, um, I think Mitch, Mitchell was saying that he wanted to lift more, but I think he performed in the deadlift absolutely amazingly. Um, he did what he had to do. Um, super exciting to watch Mitchell every time. And uh, again, great, great athlete. Pavlo, the big Ukrainian monster. Um, fair play to him again, smashing out the deadlifts. Really impressive. I also said at the end, I know we said we weren't going to talk about anything else but deadlift, but he said he's wanting to come for your record in the Atlas Stone, which made me laugh. What did it make you do? Congra uh, Pavlo, we'll see you next year. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Shots fired! And Pavlo, you've got a deep voice, mate. I'm going to get my voice even deeper for next year, and we can have a voice off. But no, it was really impressive. Pavel, great, great guy. Nice to see the embrace between him and Alexi as well. I think that was a, a great sign of respect, um, especially, you know, we all know what's going on in Ukraine or what's been going on in Ukraine. And I think the, the fellow countrymen, you know, they really did well to stick together. So, um, I don't know, in, in Cardiff, it was the first time Giants and I have been to Cardiff as well. Um, so fair play to Giants again. Um, new place, new event, new arena, fans great, supporting all the athletes. Um, one of my highlights watching it, I watched it live actually, um, I've seen Big Gav there and Gav had a stellar performance. I messaged him after saying, some reason when I watch Gavin compete when I'm not there, he gets, it makes me emotional because I see how much passion and how much... Uh, he puts into strongman, you know, and being strong, it's, it's it's incredible. So, 
yeah, big shout to him. Um, Evan, I think Evan had a wee mishap. I'm not sure what happened after the deadlift or whatever event it was. So whatever happened, Evan, both us sending our love to the big dinosaur. Hope you're not extinct anymore and you're back fighting for it. Um, but yeah, sending you all our love and uh, hope you come back stronger than ever at the Shaw Classic. Um, what about, again, I want to know a question because... I think a lot of people have been saying as well, over the last few years, Tom's deadlift, your deadlift has like gone so high. I think it's been incredible. You keep up with the Bishop, you keep up with Hixie. Um, I think you're one of the best deadlifters. You are one of the best deadlifters in the world. What would your thoughts be in attempting a world record? Like, regardless of money, regardless of whatever, do you think you could do it? Yes. Without doing any other competition, my plan is to do... World Strongest Man 2023 and then as soon as I finish World Strongest Man 2023 is to train for one year for the World Deadlift Champs. 2023 World Deadlift Champs, I want to pull 475, 480, then the year after pull 505. I don't think anyone will hit 505 in two years, maybe one person might, And but I think from now till 2024 it's going to be... 501 maybe 505 but I can yeah I can do deadlift I did I did approved it with a stone when I just trained stones I hit 286 for f two or three reps in the gym so yeah if you go for a world record like that what's the point doing any other competitions and hit a 505 deadlift and watch watch your profile shoot even further up. I never I never even knew that so that's an exclusive so after worlds finishes next year you were saying you're going to go for the world record deadlift wow honestly if Giants live Gives me what Eddie Hall got. I'll do a 505 deadlift. <laughs> I think you have to be, it has to be realistic here where you need to kind of get, I mean, it's a thing that's, like I said earlier, you have to respect the weight. And if you if someone hits 505 deadlift, then I think they deserve more prize money than anybody in the world right now because of what it is you're doing. Mm. Uh, Eddie Hall was the first guy to do it, 500 kilograms. You know, he would have only done it for a certain amount of money and... He got a lot of, you know, promotion on the back of that, and I think it's the same with 505. If I say publicly that I'm going to do it, then it might not be. Have. Yeah, sorry, I've said publicly <laughs> I'm going to do it, but it might not be Giants Live. It could be anyone. If anyone, you know, offers me enough money, then I would train it for a year. You have to remember that when I'm not competing for a year, I don't earn money from competition. So, but I'll do that. You know, I'll, I'll train it for a year and I'll hit 505. If 505 is hit, I'll hit 510. Wow. I won't go past 510, folks, because it's a, it's a bit too much. So. I think I think you've got it in you. Um, I know what I listened to Laws speak the other day, and he thinks you've got it. I'm sure Eddie does as well. I think you know you are the the new breed of strength. So. I think it'd be good because when I trained for the Atlas Stone, I didn't have to train events, which was good. And I, all I had to do was train <laughs> stones, and it was it got me easier. So I think you know, off, by the time next year comes, anyway, by the time World comes, up, my deadlift's going to be up to four fifty, four sixty, anyway. So it's only then from there to Cardiff or to there to the World Deadlift Champs. Increase it by 20k and then have a plan for another 20k after that. Mm. That's how you do it. It's all about being smart in these things. And and I know we haven't been training that. Um, well, let's just make it honest, we're highly trained. We've trained three times, I think. No, no, but we still have been training deadlifts. We've still been deadlifting and stuff, but we haven't. What I was going to say is that even though we haven't been training as intensely as world's prep, we've still been training, but we've been doing it all raw. You know, there's no deadlift suits. We're still hitting 350 odd in the deadlift. Which is good, you know. It's not it's not huge weights, but it, it teaches us to to almost get stronger um, without all the, the equipment and stuff, the deadlift suits and stuff. So and then once we put our suits back on, I mean, I'm not talking from my point of view, but for Tom's, once he puts his deadlift suit on, that's when it kind of it changes for you, and you know that'd be really exciting um, to to see. So you heard it here first, guys. We haven't actually ever said this before, have you? You've never said about going for a deadlift world record. Uh, at the stone would be good, but at the stone doesn't get much. It doesn't get talked about too much anymore, and it's not as exciting because I'm not being big headed. But I'm so far in front of anybody else that there's not really much competition. Whereas at least with a deadlift, you could have three, four, five other guys trying it as mm. well. So it'd be more exciting. So, so at the stone is out the water for a good few years. I think. I bet so sorry, 2024. Tom Stoltman breaks or attempts. Yeah, well, it depends. You know, if I win World Strongest Man next year, I might even want to win it again in 2024. So I can do both. Four. Exactly. So. so there you go. 
hope you enjoyed that exclusive. It went from talking about the deadlift championship, which was awesome, actually. I really enjoyed it. Thanks to Giants Eye for putting on an awesome show. Congratulations to Pavlo um, for winning. Mitchell coming second and Alexei Novikov, as always, Mr. Consistent, coming on the podium, third place. Congratulations to all the other athletes. Great show. Our good friend Pat, mend up soon. You hurt your groin, I believe, so hopefully it's not too serious. Um, and we will see you at a Giants Live show in October at Glasgow. So we'll see you there. What are you saying, world record deadlift holder? Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling!